So, so, yeah, I just tried to mimic that. I've been watching a lot of his videos lately. By far the most hilarious guy on YouTube. Here's the channel if you're wondering uh, who he is. Anyway, so this is something I've been waiting for for the past two weeks because I was so eager to find out the differences between OnePlus's new uh, Nightscape mode and Google's new Nightsight mode. Yeah, there are videos on YouTube that compare Nightscape photos from the OnePlus 6T and Nightsight photos from the Pixel 3. But then it's not 100% accurate because they are two different phones with different sensors. When you want to compare the two different technologies, we need to test them on the same phone, the same camera. So now that a perfectly working Pixel 3 camera APK with Nightsight mode is out for the OnePlus 60, let's pit it against the stock camera's Nightscape mode and see how they perform. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I'm Sundar, this is Technology Jock. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get regular video updates from the channel. Now, do keep in mind that both technologies are relatively new. In fact, Nightsight isn't even officially available uh, even on the Pixel 3 and 3 XL. So maybe both will perform better after a few updates in the next few weeks or months. But for now, let's do the test with what we currently have. And I will explain the drawbacks of both modes. And if you're wondering what I've got on the OnePlus 60, it's an amazing skin from Capes India, our sponsors for this video. Capes India has a wide variety of cool skins at nominal prices. They're available for a lot of phones and even laptops and a few other gadgets. So do check them out. You can use the coupon code in the description to get 10% off on your purchases. So here we go. The picture shot on Google camera has better contrast and colors. Look at the wall and the armrest of my chair. The colors are a bit too dull on the image shot on the stock camera app. Next one. Clearly the Google camera's photo is brighter and has more detail in the darker regions of the image, the shadows. The reason for this could be the fact that the OnePlus camera takes only about 2 seconds to capture a nightscape picture, but the Google camera app takes about 5 seconds to capture a night sight picture, thereby allowing the camera to capture more light. Once again, the picture shot on the Google camera app is brighter and exhibits better color representation. Look at the trees here. Same goes with this picture. Look at these cars. Google's night sight mode is doing a pretty amazing job. It also reduces noise better than the stock camera app. Now here's an issue I noticed on some pictures shot on the Google camera app. This one is not very sharp when compared to the stock camera image. There are two reasons for this. Number one, the stock camera app is actually over sharpening the images to an extent. And number two, the Google camera apps focusing is imperfect. Let's zoom in. Look at the tool's texture, the remote's texture. Looks like the app missed focus. I tried clicking the exact same scene another two times and the final one turned out noticeably better. So in general, the Google camera app struggles to focus on the subjects when it's extremely dark. In this scene, I couldn't get the focus right despite trying a few times. Let's now move on to the next comparison. Mm, same results. Google's night sight mode consistently delivers brighter images. By the way, here's where I noticed an issue with the stock camera app. Sometimes nightscape mode doesn't work at all. It's not a major issue though, just closing the app and reopening it will fix the issue. It happens once in a while and I didn't find it very annoying. Now, remember I said the OnePlus camera app over sharpens the images? Well, it might not look pleasant when it comes to landscapes, but at times, in some situations, it really helps. Look at this comparison. The text on the OnePlus camera image is slightly better. Also, the nightscape mode works really well only when it's extremely dark and there is no light source directly hitting the camera. But when there is a light source in the scene, the Google camera's night sight mode easily clicks the better pictures. Here the OnePlus camera's image is very flat, doesn't look natural. And here the colors are retained better on the Google camera's image. Same goes with this picture, there is a lot more detail on the Google camera's photo. Yet another drawback of the OnePlus camera app is that it's more prone to slight camera shakes, which leads to sort of a ghosting effect. Remember the Google camera app takes up to 5 seconds to click a night sight picture, so it is supposed to be more prone to camera shakes, but this kind of ghosting effect could never be seen on night sight pictures. Great job Google. So the bottom line is, both the apps get the pictures right 60-70% to 70 of the time, like without any blemishes. And in those instances, Google camera's night sight mode is definitely the better of the two. But like I said, there are drawbacks of, on both sides. On Google camera, there are occasional issues with the focus and it takes 5 seconds to click a picture. 
on the OnePlus app, ghosting effect happens once in a while. At times, you need to restart the camera app to shoot nightscape pictures, and the color reproduction and image quality are subpar, especially when there's a light source in the scene. So that's pretty much it. A huge thanks to Capes India for sponsoring this video. Do check them out for these amazing skins. Link in the description. So initially, I thought of doing a full stock camera versus Google camera comparison, uh, not just for night mode. But while testing, I learned that the Google camera app isn't quite stable yet. The processing is sort of messed up. Uh, at times, the images turn out to be very dark. So when an update comes out with necessary fixes, I'll do a full stock versus Google comparison. Meanwhile, if you found this video interesting, give me a like, subscribe to Technology Job for more videos like this, and please don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar leaving for the moment. Have a great day.